Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Peace be upon you, my dear brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I stand in Karbala. I stand in the land of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. Peace be upon him. I stand in the land of Muhammad al-Abbas. Peace be upon him. I stand approximately 100 meters away from the holy shrine of Muhammad al-Abbas. Peace be upon him. And today, we're going to take a journey. We're going to take a journey and go look at one of the most historical places here in Karbala. And that is the maqam, the house of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim As you can see, where I am right now is Bab Sahab al-Asri was zaman And the door behind me is Bab Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim And the house of Musa al kadhim is right across the Bab of Musa al kadhim in the alleyway. Now come with me, inshallah. We're going to go and check and talk to you about Musa al kadhim alayhi salam and the history behind this house here in Karbala. Come. At this location here is where the house of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim salamullahi alayhi was. We walked through the alleyway which was in front of the bab of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim from the shrine of Fadl al-Abbas salamullahi alayhi. Now it is narrated, after the march of Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, Imam al kadhim salamullahi alayhi gained the divine responsibility from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he gained the divine responsibility, he gained the divine responsibility of taking care of the Ummah, of being the guide for the Ummah, of being the Imam of the Ummah. It is narrated by even the Mukhalifin, the Amma, that Imam al kadhim Salamullah Aliya, was known by all, even by the Amma. Abu Hanifa used to come and ask questions to Imam al Sadiq Salamullah Aliya, and Imam al Sadiq would direct him to his young child, Imam al kadhim and he would tell him, Ask my son al kadhim Abu Hanifa would find this ridicule from the Imam. But these are the Imams of Ahlul Bayt whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instilled in them divine knowledge. Now, when it comes to the history of this place, Al-Hakim Al-Abbasi, Al-Mahdi, who gained leadership in the year 158, and he passed away in the year 169. This tyrant, after seeing that the Imam al after seeing that Imam al kadhim alayhi salam in Medina had many, many followers, he had many followers in Medina, and all the followers, all the Shia used to be around him. All the followers, all the Shia used to be around him. This Hakim and Abbas, he thought, you know what, maybe these, these Shia, these Muslims will revolt against my government. And if they revolt against my government, it would cause a problem. So Al-Hakim, Al-Abbasi, and mahdi called for Imam Al-Kadhim, Salamullah Aliyah, to where? To go to prison in Baghdad. He asked them to go to prison in Baghdad, but after seeing that Imam Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim peace be upon him, was at the pinnacle of akhlaq, pinnacle of ethics, of etiquette, honesty, humility, worship, he would spend day and night in the jail in prayer. He said, I cannot keep a person like this in the jail. I must set him free. He set him free. And of course, this is when Imam al kadhim peace be upon him, found an opportunity he found an opportunity to come to Karbala here to visit his grandfather Abi Abdullah al Hussein Salamullah Ali. He came to Karbala and here in this location here, if you are to picture an old structure, not the one we have here today, but here in this location, when Imam al Kadhim Salamullah Ali built his house. Imam al Kadhim, when he built his house, the Shia all around the world, the Shia in Medina, the Shia in Hijaz, the Shia in, in uh, in Iran, the Shia all over the place came flocking towards Imam al-Kadhim. Imam al-Kadhim stayed in Karbala for three years. Imam al-Kadhim for three years stayed in Karbala and he followed the footsteps of his grandfather Al-Baqir and his father Al-Sadiq by building a Hawza here in Karbala. A Hawza in the name of Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam. The same Hawza that Al-Baqir and Al-Sadiq salamullahi alayhim built and from this house graduated Zurara, from this house graduated Al-Fadl ibn Umar, from this house graduated Aba Basir and Jabr, Jabr ibn Yazid al-Ja'fi. Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam here in Karbala built this house and he stayed in Karbala for three years. 
Now, in the year 169, in the year 169 after Hijrah, when Al-Hakim Al-Hadi Al-Abbasi, the tyrant, gained position and took over Al-Mahdi's position, he started to see that Karbala, Karbala and a lot of Shia were in Karbala and the Hawza in Karbala became very strong and the Zawar in Karbala increased. So what did he say? He started sending spies all over Karbala al muqaddasa When he started sending his spies in Karbala al muqaddasa this pressured on the Imam. The Imam said, I don't want to be close to this tyrant's government. Let me go back to Medina and continue my work in Medina. And now, Alhamdulillah, this Torah, this history, this treasure stayed until today. And the Zawar, Alhamdulillah, millions every year come and they visit this holy structure. They visit the, the Maqam of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim sallallahu alayhi here in Karbala. This, this treasure here is one of the treasures of Karbala that paints us a history of this holy Maqam. So this is the history behind the Maqam. This is the history behind this holy house of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim peace be upon him. This was a thousand years ago. Imam al kadhim established the Hawza here in Karbala. People say that the Hawza of Karbala is a very new Hawza. But no, the Hawza of Imam al kadhim alayhi salam is as old as a thousand years. From here, many ulama graduated in this holy house. Now, to end my beautiful, to end this episode, I will end with a dua. We will do tawassat Imam al kadhim alayhi salam so that we can pray for everybody. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya Abel Hassan, Ya Musa ibn Ja'far, Ayyuhal Kadhim, Ya Ibn Rasulullah, Ya Hajjat Allahi ala khilq, Ya Sayyidina wa Mawlana, Inna tawassalna, wa istashfa'na, wa tawassalna bika ila Allah, wa qaddamnaka bayna yaday hajatina. Ya wajihan inda Allah, ishfa'lana inda Allah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I ask Allah the creator of all mankind, of, the, of this universe and of this earth to grant us the shafa'a, the intercession of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad bihaqqi Musa ibn Ja'far, by the right of Musa ibn Ja'far and by the right of this holy maqam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma aghfir li wa li walidayya wa li jami'a al-mu'mini wa al-mu'minat. Ya Rabbi bihaqqi al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa Ali Muhammad wa Aliyun wa Fatimata wa al-Hasani wa al-Husayn wa al-Abbas wa umm al-Baneen وزينب وعلي بن الحسين ومحمد الباقر وجعفر الصادق وموسى الكاظم وعلي الرضا والمعصومة ومحمد الجواد وعلي الهادي والحسن العسكري والمهدي المنتظر الحج عجل الله تعالى فرج الشريف Peace be upon you.